when I told my father that someday I was going to give up a house because computer costs as much as a house. I was going to live in an apartment so I could have my own computer. Finally, I saw the formula to try to make a computer that a person could afford to own. So I saw the formula, and that was just so lucky. I was going to build that computer for myself, no matter what. I didn't think, hey, I got a great idea, let's start a company. I didn't think that way at all. I'm going to build a computer that impresses them. I'm going to show it to them, because showing off was really my way of communicating. I was still shy. And I'm going to pass out my designs for free and tell everybody for $300 you can build your own computer that is so good you can actually type programs in and run them. And that was the start for me. I would have done that thing in 1975 whether there was any idea of Apple computer, a company, um, anything like that. I would have just done that for myself. And Eventually Steve Jobs came into town and he saw it and he said let's start a company but but people think, oh my gosh, that was the start of Apple. Steve and I had been selling my, my designs for five years. I mean, we already had our company in, a, in you know, spiritual terms.